You're listening to Venusell Insights, where we bring you valuable information on accelerating business value, business transitions, employee engagement, visual process mapping, self-awareness, and entrepreneurial excellence. Hello, everyone. This is Kevin with Venusell. Today, I'm talking with Elizabeth Ledoux about the Transition Roadmap Developer and the difference between secession and transition in business. Elizabeth, what can you tell us about today's topic? You know, it's funny when I go and I do different speeches and talks to different groups, and even when I'm talking one-on-one with people, people will tend to talk about transition and succession as if they're identical, as if they're exactly the same thing. And really, when you think about it, And in one of our talks that that we do, we actually point out that succession and transition are not the same thing. And in order to have a successful business transition, you also need to have a successful succession. So transition by definition is basically the, the change of state of something or someone. So transition would be I change state from doing this task or being CEO to not being CEO. So I change my state of being and what I'm doing. Succession basically is the act of inheriting or the act of taking something on. So succeeding into something. And so if a person is transitioning from one task to another and leaving the tra- the task, then they, by definition, need someone, if they're going to continue to have the task done, they need someone to actively engage and succeed into that role or that position. So you actually need both transition and succession in order to move from one state to another and be able to continue to have the thing operate or have the task done well. So it sounds like secession is a part of transition, at least in the transition roadmap developer. Yes, that's true. People have a big desire to keep the business running in a healthy fashion and keep the clients happy and the vendors happy and the employees employed and all of those different things. And so one of the tricks isn't just to figure out how the owner or leaders are going to transition from one place to another with regard to their work and or their ownership, right? Because those are two separate things but also who's going to take them over and how do we get them to take them over successfully and how do we get them to engage? And so that's all a part of the transition roadmap developer is to figure out that puzzle. Many times people believe that the transition is an event and by definition, the transition of your Equity in a company can be an event. It can happen in one closing. It could be an event. What we've found is that the transition is actually a journey. There is ultimately going to be some kind of a transaction that will be an event, and that would include, you know, the legal and the accounting and the tax and all those things. And you want to make sure that you're considering all of those different things as you walk through. However, that's not the only part of it. The people side, the well-being of your people, um, the leadership, and who's going to continue the business after you leave, those are all important things, especially if you're not thinking that you're going to sell to a third party and you want to try to figure out how to get family and or employees and or keep current partners in place while you leave the business. So, so it really is the, of course there's the tax and the legal, but that's not all of it. And where people usually get stuck is on the people side, the people, the leadership. And earlier this morning, I was talking to a lady and I said, basically, you know, it's really what the owners are trying to figure out is how do I let go of the business while not losing control until such time as the people are ready to take over the control. And I'm confident 
that they're ready to do it. To find out more about the Transition Roadmap Developer and the other programs offered by Venus Cell, please check out our website, www.venuscell.com. That's www.venuscell.com. Going forward, we're going to be adding a new segment to our Venus Cell Insights podcast. At the end of every podcast, we will be adding a Venus Cell tip of the day. Elizabeth, what's today's tip? So the tip for today is just using the word yet. Many times in our minds, we end up believing that something is not possible. For instance, our team will say, well, we can't sell it for that price. Or there's no possible way that I'm going to be able to transition this business well. And with those kind, that kind of thinking, what happens is our minds actually believe that that's true and that becomes our reality. By adding the word yet to anything, it's kind of a magical word. It is amazing what it does. So for instance, we can't sell the product for that price yet. What it does is it opens up the possibility of your mind and your heart thinking about, well, okay, there's still room. We are not going to be able to transition the business well yet, right? So the word yet is kind of magical, and it's kind of fun when we do some of our talks. We use that, and that's one of our tips, and it really makes a big difference. So when you run into an impossible thing that it looks like it's a dead end, don't forget about the word yet. Thank you, Elizabeth, and thank you everyone for listening today. Don't forget, for information on the Transition Roadmap Developer and other VenusL programs, please check out our website, www.venusL.com. That's www.venusL.com.